Hello everyone, welcome to Coders Chem. In this video, we are going to cover one of the hard problems that has been asked in weekly contest of lead code, which is last day where you can still cross. So the input given here is uh, n cross n matrix where the row and column represent the dimensions of a matrix where all the cells are represented as land. And they have given coordinates for each day where the water, water will be filled in the uh, mattress. So we have to start from any of the rows from the first row and reach the last row by traveling only through land that is zeros. So let's understand this problem with an example. So the input given here is a 3 cross 3 matrix and all the cells are filled with zeros which represent land. So let's start with the very first day and they said the matrix is indexed with one indexed which means there is no it start with 1, 2, and 3 same way 1 2 and 3 so now uh, we are starting with the index 1 comma 2 on first day which means 1 comma 2 will be flooded with water on the very first day so now our task is to reach from the topmost row to the bottommost row uh, and uh, no matter which cell we are traveling so uh, we have two options to travel to the last row so via the first cell and the uh, third cell in the first row. So these are the two options. So you can travel on the first day from the row 1 to row, two, row 3. So moving to the next cell, that is next day will be flooding the cell 2 comma 1. So once we flood the cell 2 comma 1, we stopped with the option which we can travel from the very first cell. Because uh, there is water in both the directions in the right as well as down but we don't have any left or up cells since all the cells can travel only in four directions we cannot travel from the first cell as the second cell is already flooded with water we cannot travel from the second cell as well so the only option we have is traveling through the third cell but we can still travel from the third cell to the last row so we can walk on the second day as well so third day the cell we are going to fill with water is 3 comma 3 and once we fill it with 3 comma 3, uh, we have again an option to travel from the last cell in the first row to the other cells in the last row. So we can cross successfully on the third day as well. So again, the cell we are going to fill is 2 comma 2 on the next day. So fourth day, we are filling water uh, on the cell 2 comma 2. So now we had only option to travel from the third cell, which has also been blocked because you cannot travel straight as well as travel in the previous path so now we cannot travel from the first row to the last row so we are stopping with the third day itself after third day we cannot travel to the cells so this is going to be our output so how are we going to approach this so we have seen similar problems in our channel already uh, one of the problems is sim swim through rising water which is again same uh, n cross n grid where uh, water will be rising each day and they want us to swim from the cells uh, which has water here they are asking us to walk through the lands so you must be aware by now we are going to obviously use bfs technique to traverse through the cells and try to reach the last row so we have seen enough videos to uh, n learn how to do a bfs in a matrix so you can you have a lot of reference videos but here we are going to uh, go through a high level algorithm and then get the details in the code so we are going to as usual going to have a queue which is going to hold the coordinates where we can travel the travel through land so we are going to start from the very first row adding the cells uh, which are having zeros from those cells we are going to travel through the rest of the cells to the next row and then to the last row and whichever cells reaches the last row then we are going to update our result according to that. So if we are trying to perform BFS for each filling of water at each day, then it is going to time limit exit because uh, there is a lot of input. After every input, if you try to check, then uh, definitely it is not going to run in optimal time. So how do we do this BFS in a better way? So there comes the option for doing binary search. So why binary search? Because we know there are input for nine days given in the uh, cell so obviously the output is going to be either from from one to nine 
so we know the limit or the bounds of our uh, result so in that case according to our previous binary search videos if we know the lower bound and upper bound of our result then we can obviously go for binary search and the result the bound is in ascending order so now in this case what are we going to do is as usual in any binary search problem we are going to divide the output and fix a mid value and check whether we can achieve or whether we can move from the top cell to the bottom cell by fixing at that particular day if suppose from 1 to 9 the mid value is going to be 5 so we are going to fix 5 and check whether we can move from the top row to the bottom row on fifth day after filling water in this five cells if that is possible then possibly our answer could be five or more than five in that case we will fix our lower bound that is left to five and right bound will be at nine and we, we, we will do our search between five to nine if not if we cannot do or start from the first row to reach the last row by filling the five first five cells in that case our answer could be less than 5 so what are we going to do we are going to fix our left bound to 1 and right bound to 5 and do our search again between 1 to 5 again we'll fix the mid to 3 and then start our search the same way we are going to perform this BFS to find whether we can approach the last row with within that days if that is the case we keep adjusting our limits and finally arrive at our results so hope you are understanding this solution you will get a clearer explanation when we code it so before getting into code this is going to work in big o of row into column into log of row comma column row into column because uh, to iterate all the rows and columns it is going to take row into column time and to do a binary search between these values it is going to take log of row into column time complexity so let's go to the code now. So before getting back to our main method, let us look into our helper method which helps us to perform our BFS. So here we are passing the cells and the row comma column as the given input and the day at is nothing but the mid value we are going to calculate. So this is nothing but that we are at the particular day where we have to fill if we are at day 5 then we have to fill only 5 cells and check whether we can reach from top row to the bottom row. So this grid is going to help us to understand in which path we are uh, traveling and which cells we have already visited. So now we are going to iterate the number of days and fill our grid with only those values that is if, it, if the day is at 5 then we are going to fill our grid only with first five cells which are given in the input to one so here we are using a minus one because the given cells are uh, one indexed but the grid here we are using is zero indexed array and as usual we need our help of q and we are going to start from the very first row that is why we have kept zero and number of columns to iterate so once our first row's value is 0, then we can start from that row to travel towards the last row. So we are updating our queue with that coordinate and update the cell's value in our grid array to 1. Because once we started with that cell, which means we have visited that cell. So we don't let another cell visit through that. So we are updating to indicate that the cell is visited. So now once added, we are going to start iterating the coordinates from our queue. And we are going to travel till all our coordinates gets empty. So as usual, while performing BFS, we are going to add pick the current coordinates and add it with all other directions. So here we have declared a direction array globally, which helps us to calculate all four directions. So before that, if the new row or column is the last row, then in that case, we have reached the last row, which means on that particular day after filling that many cells with water, we have a path to travel from the zeroth row to the last row. So in that case, we successfully traveled. So we are returning true to our main function. If not, we are going to iterate the array and uh, I whenever we reach the last row we are going to return true so as usual we are going to iterate in all four directions and find new neighboring coordinates x and y which is nothing but the 
neighboring coordinate at all four directions at each direction we are checking whether they the cells are out of index or they are in the same row or same column or if the cell is already visited then we are going to skip that iteration if not if it is not one and if it is not out of index and if it is the next row or column then in that case we can travel via that path so we are going to update it update that path to one because we have visited it and update it to our queue so you can do it either way first update the coordinates to our queue because from that cell you are further going to explore any cell in the next row and we are going to update that cell has been visited so this is going to keep going until all the coordinates are going to be get emptied and once we've reached the last row we directly return true and skip all this because all we wanted is whether we can travel to the last row from the first row on that particular day if any path exists then it is going to return true if not it is going to return false which mean on that day we cannot travel from the zero row to the last row so here comes our main method we now understood our uh, bfs method so here we are going to keep our left bound to 1 and right bound to the number of coordinates that are given in the cells as our input and days equal to 0 is nothing but it is going to be the number of days maximum we can travel from the uh, top row to the bottom row which is going to be our output so now as i said we are going to perform a binary search so we are going to iterate till our left meets right and find a mid and pass the mid value to our bfs method as day at so once it returns to true which means on the day we can travel from the top row to the bottom row so the output can possibly be that value or more than that value so we are going to first fix that as our output and we are going to fix that left bound to mid plus 1 which means this can be output or the left bound can be fixed more number of days and can be iterated if not if it returns false which means we cannot travel from the top row to the bottom row on that particular day so the days can be lesser the output days must be lesser so we are fixing our upper bound to mid minus 1 so once all this completed the number of days will be stored in the days variable and that is going to be our output so hope you are understanding this solution let's try running it so yes let's submit yes a solution is accepted Thanks for watching the video. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe and let me know in comments. Thank you.